All right, Dark Side filled the Sony Shield. This is one of the most Sony biased clowns on the internet. Gets on my damn nerves. So I uh, I just happened to notice a couple weeks or yeah, a couple weeks later here his E3 recap vids, and I thought, oh, let's see what he talks about. You know, you see if he's kind of unbiased or you know how how much biased he is. Well, what I found pretty much made me sick, of course. Watching his Xbox press conference recap vid, disgusting. The whole thing, you just look at his face. I mean, just look at his face in this Xbox vid. He's so like, oh, the Xbox sucks. That's his whole attitude. He goes into the whole thing with an attitude about how Xbox sucks. He wants to have a negative attitude on all these games, guaranteed. This guy's a joke made me sick. Even look at how many more games he put on his Sony one. He put like 20 games on here and he put like oh, two games here. Every Sony game he goes into with a positive attitude. He talks about, oh. See, listen to this. Oh, oh. Oh, you know, it's so good. Blah, blah, blah. You know, he's so positive talking about Kratos. Look at his face. Look at his face on the Microsoft games. Like, uh, uh, Microsoft. That's his whole fucking anti. Uh, Microsoft sucks. He fucking makes me sick, man. Uh, Microsoft sucks. Not only that, but he made, like, huge factual lies within the first seconds of the video. First of all, he comes out and he goes, And Phil Spencer gets on stage and he says, oh, He says, all oh, Xbox One X games are going to be 4K and 60 FPS. That's a huge fucking lie, you idiot. You fucking moron. Phil Spencer did not at any point say that or even hint at it. He's been very consistent that there's no requirements about frame rate and resolution on Xbox One X. They've been very consistent that all games are not mandated to be 4K. All games are not mandated to be 60 FPS. Granted, they're hyping the, 6, the 4K part, you know, and there's going to be a lot of games that aren't 4K. I think the majority. Okay, you want to ding Microsoft for that? Go ahead. You know, they're not lying, but you could say they're being misleading. The old misleading. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I say it is what it is. They're a huge corporation. They're doing marketing. What do you expect them to do? They market shit. You know. Hang on one second, please. But yeah, so he, he told us a blatant lie. It's a pretty big deal to get up there and lie and say, yeah, Phil Spencer said every game is going to be 60 FPS on the Xbox One X. It's a blatant fucking lie, you moron. <laughs> Show me where he said that, you fucking idiot. DSP Phil, holy smokes. Then he goes on to say, but all the games were 30 FPS. All the games they showed were 30 FPS. Fucking lie number two, they showed fucking 4 to 7, it's 4K 60. Right off the fucking bat, you idiot. You fucking idiot. Oh my gosh. This guy is a huge idiot. The main first party exclusive Sony, I mean, Microsoft is touting, is 4 to 7 that they've put all over the fucking place is 4K, true 4K, not checkerboard like PS4 Pro does, and 60 fucking FPS. And you sit there and have the audacity to tell two lies, two blatant fucking lies in, in the space of like 30 seconds. Phil Spencer said every game on Xbox One X is going to be 60 FPS. Fucking lie. But then, Microsoft didn't show a single game that was 60 FPS. Fucking lie. <laughs> God, this guy is fucking beyond the pale. Then, uh... He, and he goes on to even make it worse. He says, like, because Forza, Forza, the Forza games were never 60 FPS on X. Where does this guy fucking live? Every fucking Forza game ever has been fucking 60 FPS, except the Forza Horizon ones. Okay, I just thought of that. Maybe let's give him the benefit of the doubt, even though he's a well-known idiot. Everybody on the internet knows DSP is an idiot and doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. 
let's get, I, you know, I just now popped in my brain that maybe he's getting it confused with Forza Horizon. Because the Forza Horizon series is off-road. It's totally different. It's free roam. It's different aesthetic, different, you know, it's not hardcore. It's more arcadey. And so it's not 60 FPS, it's 30. So maybe he was getting confused. But every mainline Forza game, and this is up to 7 now, at least I, I don't want to be wrong like him. I don't know that every Forza game, but I'm pretty sure every Forza game ever has been 60 FPS. I know all the recent ones, such as 5, 6, 7, have been 60 FPS. In fact, they're locked 60 FPS. And if you look at Gran Turismo Sport, it's not, the Gran Turismo games are typically not locked 60 FPS. They're typically some kind of wishy-washy 55 FPS bullshit. You know? Oh, man, this guy makes me mad. So, three blatant, blatant lies in the first, and just doesn't understand what the fuck he's talking about. And like I said, just this whole attitude throughout this whole talking about Microsoft conference. You can just see him pucker his little Sony shield nose up at everything Microsoft. He just goes into it with the attitude. Microsoft sucks. I'm going to rip on their press conference. He's so fucking biased. And Sony, it's the reverse. Like, uh, you know, every game he's talking about, oh, it looks good. You know, it, blah, blah. oh, day's gone. Oh, wow, it's going to be so cool. Another fucking zombie game. The 50 fucking millionth fucking zombie game on Sony in the last year. You know, fucking Last of Us, Gone Days, Last of Days. They're all the fucking same over and over. Same fucking scruffy motorbike. Oh, he's got a beard. Oh, he's scruffy. Oh, zombies in a apocalyptic waste. Same fucking tired shit over and over. You know, and okay, if you like that, cool. I don't. But, you know, I always point it back to people made fun of Microsoft all the time in Gears of War hating. Oh, bald space marines. It's bald space marines. Well, where's your scruffy zombie hunter? You know, that's ten times more fucking common than the bald space marines ever were. But because Sony has those games, you don't ever hear that. You know, Oh, it's another scruffy zombie hunter. Uh. You know, that's what people would be saying if Microsoft was making a bunch of zombie games. Because you have all these, de uh, whatever, State of Decay and uh, whatever. Uh, Microsoft has another uh, PC-ish kind of Twitch, I would call it a Twitch game, these Twitch zombie games that are open world, and Twitch people love them, and I forgot the name of the other one, State of Decay is one of them, and I forget the name of the other one, last, I don't know, but the point is, the fucking, you know, he, to fucking go into Days Gone and talk about how cool it is, oh, they're gonna, they're gonna have, he said at one point something like, they're gonna have, you know, the, uh, they're gonna have animals that are zombie now, oh, this is incredible, and I was like, what the fuck? You know, are you really digging that deep for something to talk about positive? You know, this fucking moron. And he doesn't mention that all the same games they fucking showed last year are back. You know, what what were the ten, what were the big games Sony showed last year? Oh yeah, they were God of War and they were oh, what was the other one? Days Gone. And what you know, <laughs> it's like 2016 E3, Sony Showcase titles, God of War, Days Gone. 2017 E3, Sony Showcase titles, God of War, Days Gone. Same fucking games again, you dumb shit. Now, I know that happens at E3 and so forth, but Sony takes it to a new level of recycling the same tired shit that won't come out for years and years and years and years. And the funny thing is, neither one of those games has come out this year either. They might fucking be in 2018 E3. <laughs> I think they said, quote, early 2018 for God of War. God of War, as I call it, something. But, yeah, he never comments on that. How it's the same fucking games they showed last year. Another thing is, oh, he, he was so positive on the fucking Uncharted Lost. Oh, it's a DLC. It looks like a brand new. It looks like Uncharted 4 Part 2, basically. Oh, it looks so good. Oh, it's totally new. Uh, first of all, it's another SJW game. He doesn't comment on that. You know, you play as women. Oh, joy. You know, that's, that's, uh, <laughs> you play as women again. That's par for the course of these SJW Sony games. You ain't got a choice. You're going to play as them whether you like it or not. Just like in freaking Stupid Horizon Zero Dawn. With your little politically correct little Indian girl. Oh, isn't she, isn't she all the politically correct stereotypes in one? You know, she's not white. I don't know what she's supposed to be. She's clearly not really black. Because uh, even Sony ain't going to do that. 
<laughs> you know, Sony the politically correct. They're not going to put no black chick as a hero. Nobody would buy the game. You know, if they got some balls, why don't you do that, Sony? Why don't you make a black chick as your hero? But no, they got some sort of indeterminate, kind of ethnic looking, of course, with cornrows. Because, oh, ethnic, oh, modern, oh, multicultural, oh, SDW, all the fucking bullshit contaminating the gaming industry right now. That's the fucking Aloy in her eyes. And, you know, it looks like a damn fucking SJW focus group put her together. She's probably lesbian. <laughs> On top of everything else to just, you know, make sure it's politically correct enough. Uh, yeah, and, and, and a jo oh, he doesn't mention that fucking Sony is selling us DLCs like games. You know, oh, Uncharted New DLC. Th those are their games coming out this year. They, you know, Microsoft has Forza 7, Crackdown, three actual games. Sony has, oh, here's a paid DLC. Oh, here's another paid DLC for Uncharted. Here's a paid DLC for The Last of Us Part Two. That's our big fall lineup. You get to pay for some DLC. Oh, yay. You know, nobody's fucking commenting on the insanity of that. Can you imagine if Microsoft came and they're like, oh, here's some Halo 5 single-player DLC. That's our big fall game. You know, everybody would be like, what the fuck? But if Sony does it, oh, it's great, it's wonderful, oh, that's superb. I get to pay for some fucking DLC, and that's what Sony's got for this fall. Yay me. You know, give me a fucking break. Oh, these look like, these look almost like a full game. Yeah, right. <laughs> I don't even know anything about fucking them, but I can guarantee you they don't look like a full fucking game. They look like fucking DLC, like every other DLC looks. They look the same game, same engine, same shit. You know, they probably were done two years ago, and Sony fucking just kept them out and sold it to us later for 30 bucks, whatever the fuck overpriced shit they're going to charge. So yeah, joke, joke, joke. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and he, I, I, I didn't even watch most of it. I probably should have to get a better idea to criticize him. But it, it won't, he was talking about fours on the Microsoft one, and he, and he goes, uh, Okay, then they showed fours, blah, blah, blah. He with this typical negative, you know, prickish attitude towards Microsoft constantly. Just constantly. He's just looking for something negative about everything Microsoft does. And he's like, uh, okay, they showed a for Porsche or a Ferrari. Oh, same old boring. I wonder if he said the same old fucking, you know, I wonder if he said it about GT Sport. You know, is he going to sit there and say, like, oh, then they showed GT Sport, they just showed some Ferraris, who cares, same old boring car driving, you know. I bet he didn't, I bet he was all, oh, GT Sport look great, oh, oh, oh. fucking moron, you know. I mean, like I said, just look at how much more, Microsoft showed tons and tons of games, this is what he shows on the, you know, the fucking Sony one, like, 19 games. He didn't even show, like, Microsoft showed Anthem, and they showed all this other shit, and what is, you know, he has fucking... Project Scorpio, see if they, you know, he didn't even put any fucking effort into his Sony background, but PlayStation, he has like, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11 games, Microsoft won 2 games, and hardware, you know, so, yeah, so, Phil, you're a joke, you know, I didn't even watch half the, I, I just started watching and caught 3 lives within like 2 minutes, Oh, Phil said every game is going to be 60 bit. Lie. Blatant, blatant lie. Oh, they didn't show a single 60 bit lie. Oh, oh all the Forza games have been 30 FPS in the past. Oh, my goodness. This guy is a clown.